I'm now joined by Jason Impey, our three-in-one of this film, the DOP, the producer and uh, editor. Yep, that's right, yeah. So when Dan approached you about this film, what was your reaction? What was it that made you want to take part in this? Uh, so I met Dan on a film shoot where he was acting and um, he, he was doing a fun job actually and I was the DOP of it and he had told me that he had made a feature before and they were looking they were looking for someone to bring up the production a little bit and he liked what he'd seen me do and um, when we got talking he knew I'd done a lot of horror films and a lot of features and he approached me with a script that was very different. It was, um, I label it a crime drama um, and I'm quite a fan of stuff like Rise of the Foot Soldier and films like that and it appealed to me because I'd done a hard hitting social drama years ago that had done quite well and I thought this has actually got potential to be similar to that, but actually a bit more to the roots of the, the crime drama I like. So he had me sold and uh, he uh, used my technical ability, really. So you're able to mix your love of horror and doing gritty things, all those sort of passions coming into something a little bit different to what you'd done before. So what was, what was it about the storyline, though, that enticed you? Uh, I like this because... Um, I have done a variety of films where it's, it's been fun, but the, it's not so character driven. This film had a lot of complex characters and um, it was about their like, real people's stories. So that was what was appealing. I could bring my roots of uh, dark, gritty filmmaking and especially for some of the rooftop scenes and the lighting. But um, I was able to work with real characters and I do think Dan had made quite a, a good story that looked at real, real hard hitting situations that people can face. So yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed working with that. Talking about rooftop scenes, that kind of thing, I mean, that's quite a challenging scene to put together. I mean, what do you do to overcome some of those, I guess, technical difficulties? Uh, yeah, so uh, Dan did throw me in the deep end of this film because, to be honest, apart from, um, apart from Rowan there and, uh, and my partner, Rachel, there was really no crew. <laughs> Dan, Dan was overseeing it and I was literally the main crew with a very little bit of help with makeup. So um, I was doing the sound, which was a nightmare because we had very limited kit. I was doing all the, the visual and he's saying, he was throwing me like on a rooftop at night, in the middle of the night with no lights. And I have my lights, but we were doing what would be like a 20 person's job multi-million pound film we're doing it with like a fiver and uh, very little resources so um i was i was used my 20 years of experience of uh, dop and uh, made the best as i could and i've amazed myself actually <laughs> like visually i'm actually very pleased and dan said he's very pleased with it so. that's an amazing achievement i think sometimes when you've got limitations that actually creates some of the most creative uh, projects do you find i do actually we had to think outside the box because um there was um throwing people off of a roof and that was um that was insane um, because we literally said we, we, we'd, we had resources, but throwing someone off a roof, I was thinking, how are we going to do that? And yeah, we had to think about the shots, how we could do it and imply it. And I actually enjoyed that because I think we got a better result where you said, because we had to think really hard about how we're going to show it. I'm like, yeah, that, 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 that actually helped the film in the long run, I think. So no one was actually thrown over the roof, right? Um, it was close. <laughs> Oh my god! I will say my heart was sinking. We had a uh, Richard hanging off the roof on a chair, and it was very close. And I didn't realise until I was up there, and I was standing on the ledge myself, how like faint that made me feel. Uh, and I was trying to get a shot, and I was edging further and further back, and I, I could see Dan panicking. I was <laughs> hanging off the roof, but that's quite an insurance claim to make there if that had happened, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, but it's um, no one was really hurt. <laughs> I think Dan took a punch to the face actually. So wow. Okay. Well. On that note, thank you very much for chatting to us this evening and I can't wait to see it. I guess we'll be going in there very shortly. Yes, I'm nervous. Hope everyone likes it. Oh, we will do. We will do. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Thank you.